If you want to create better prompts for your mid-journey AIR, or even just learn a few different keywords you can try by experimenting a bit, try using ChatGPT to generate some prompts for mid-journey. Now, the way you do it is you actually got to go into ChatGPT, and you've got to train ChatGPT to produce these prompts for you. So I'm in ChatGPT, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in here, here are some notes for creating mid-journey prompts I'd like you to understand. Now I'm going to tab over to this mid-journey documentation, which I'll link to in the description below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all the text on this page and copy it. I head back to ChatGPT, I hold down Shift and Enter, and then I paste it in place and hit Enter. You can see it has kind of summarized this for the mid-journey prompts. Now I'm going to create a formula for ChatGPT to use. I'm going to say, I want you to use this formula to write mid journey prompts and shift and enter. I'm going to paste this formula in in brackets. Again, I've uh, got a bit of inspiration from Matt Wolf on this one. There's a few differences in how I do things, but uh, just want to shout him out because this is a really awesome way of doing it. I think just the way this formula is set up. I've got image web prompting, five descriptive keywords or phrases, camera model and lens, lighting, style of photograph, and say, do you understand this formula? Say, yes, if you understand. Using the formula provided, write me a prompt for a cat with wings and rocket feet. Now we may not get exactly what we want straight away, so we do have to adjust as we go, but let's see what GPT gives us. So that's actually worked out pretty well. Sometimes you'll find that there might be uh, things in there like brackets or labels, or it might try and put an image URL on there. So you will have to ask ChatGPT not to do that. So now I'm gonna say, write me six prompts of a cat with wings dressed as Batman. And I wanna actually mention mid journey prompts. So you can see I've now got six prompts I can use. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop a lot of this stuff into the description below so you can copy and paste if you want to. Uh, but essentially, I'm gonna take one of these, I'm gonna copy between the quotation marks and head over to mid-journey, type in slash imagine, paste my prompt, hit enter, and see what results we get. And you can see the results we got, they're actually pretty cool. And we've got some different sort of uh, effects in here. And we can actually go through and reference this to see if there's any wording in here we'd like to use. However, you don't have to stick with this one formula. What I can also do, I can say down here, I'd like to change the formula to, paste in the formula. I'm gonna get rid of all of the camera models and, and everything, and I'm gonna say art style, artist name, and art medium. And now I can actually change it to an art style of sort of prompt. So I'm gonna say, Type yes if you understand. And then I'm just gonna to respond to it almost like I'd talk to a person. So I say, excellent, write me six mid-journey prompts of a cat with wings dressed as Batman using the new formula. I get some more prompts and I'm gonna copy this first prompt here. I'm gonna paste that into mid-journey and see what results we can get from that. As you can see, we get something completely different, more artistic, but we've basically given ChatGPT the same information, but with a different formula. I can then keep the conversation going with ChatGPT. Since it is a chatbot, I can say, I love it. Can we try the same again with a focus on cinematic 3D CGI? Again, I have a bunch of new prompts to try out. I can even add some custom parameters in the end to take a little bit more control, such as my aspect ratio, or even upping the chaos to get better variety of my images. And I get these really cool looking images and ChatGPT has basically engineered the prompt for me. Then I can just keep the conversation going organically. I asked for a Renaissance style painting of a cyberpunk woman. And it just makes it so much simpler and so much less thought involved in coming up with a good prompt. And now you can even start to write completely different formulas depending on the results you want. So I did one for basically the image, descriptive words, but I added celebrity name, movie name, and a famous movie director with style and lighting to get some pretty unique results that way. I've also changed to simply an abstract style, a strict color palette, lighting to get something different again, or even a digital art style 
video game reference and a famous digital artist. Anything you can really think of, you can experiment with to see what ChatGPT gives you and get some pretty unique styles. Now from this, you can use this just to generate your prompts or you can learn from the words that's actually produced. Either way, have a good play with ChatGPT. Remember, you're gonna to have to review some of these prompts sometimes and ask it to make some alterations like removing certain elements like brackets or things like that. But otherwise, uh, have a play, see what you reckon, and uh, let me know how you go. Leave a comment below with anything you discover or anything you think has worked out really well. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you again next time.